Hi! I thought I would share with you the way that I coarse spin some of my bulky yarns today. So what I'm going to be working with is uh, alpaca blended with merino tensile. This is a uh, fawn colored alpaca. It's one of our males called Merlot. Um, and he has a beautiful fiber and it was blended with a, a pink and yellow or golden yellow um, merino tensile which uh, turns out to be quite a nice blend and this is done on my drum carter and then taken off as a uh, roving uh, which which is something you can do on your drum carter uh, I am doing core spinning, which means that I am spinning around a core. In this case, the core is um, another yarn. So uh, you can use a thicker yarn or very thin yarns if you want to do this. I like thicker because I do enjoy uh, knitting and working with uh, bulky yarns. Uh, I will also be adding elements to my yarn. So these are little pieces of, um, of leftover yarn that I've cut up about six to eight inches long and I add them here and there just simply as interest or just to change the color up a little bit. Another type of yarn that I really like to use is what we call the recycled silk sari yarn and how this is made is um, is by really shredding a silk fabric and then using all the little threads uh, they are all spun together and it creates a yarn but I like to take these apart and I really um, I really pull on them like this to really tease all of the fibers the, the threads together and I spin this around my yarn I'll show you I'll show you how I do that in a minute Uh, the wheel I'm using is my uh, Spin Illusion uh, Firefly. It's made by Spin Illusion. And as you can see, I am spinning around the core here. You have to put a fair amount of twist in this type of yarn because um, when you ply it, you'll be manipulating it even more than usual to create the texture that, that we want. I'm just going to adjust the tension on my wheel to, so that it pulls the yarn a little bit faster onto the bobbin. So I started spinning uh, about four or five years ago and I'm really enjoying this. This is the best part I think about owning an alpaca farm is that I get all this beautiful fiber that I can work with. So let's say at this point I would like to add a little bit of interest. I will just pull off the fiber. I will take this little a bit of uh, recycled silk sorry threads here and start inserting them and making sure that they twist on very well all around the core and continue I'll just anchor the end with my fiber making sure that it's nice and tightly held there so it doesn't come off When you have a bobbin with pegs like this, you need to move the, the yarn from peg to peg so that you fill your bobbin completely. So I, I stop once in a while to do that. This roving, because it has a few colors in there, I can turn it around so that I'm sure to take advantage of all the colors. So I see a nice little strip of pink here and I'll make sure that it sits on top here because that's what's going to show up on the yarn. So I just make sure 
that I showcase it. And as you can see here, you can see more of the pink.